<laughs> Welcome to our fourth week of summer camp. I can't believe we're finished with our fourth week of summer camp. It's like flown by. And um, I just want to thank you all for being here and letting us hang out with your kids. This was such a special week. I mean, they're all special because we love hanging out with kids. Um, but this was especially fun because your kids, especially together as a mix, were amazing. They just, we didn't really have to, not force, but coerce them to do anything. We'd be like, let's practice. And, you know, after you've done something like three or four times, the kids are like, oh, we need a break. This group, we're like, let's practice. And they're like, yes! <laughs> My assistant director was like, this is amazing. And we were all just so impressed at the, the, the amount of times that we kept telling them to repeat. We just kept pushing it and pushing it. Like, all right, let's do it again. And they were like, yes! So um, thanks for giving us such exciting kids. Uh, a couple things. I have a whole list of things, so I'm going to talk fast so you can get to, to the show. Uh, I'd like to introduce Miss Sydney. So can you just ask Sydney? I forgot to tell her I was going to pull her in. Um, I normally... I like to introduce the counselors, but it's hard with everybody in position. But this is Miss Sydney, my assistant director. She is wonderful. She has been with me for three years, and she's fantastic, and um, just really grown. And she pretty much took away the week and did a lot of the directing stuff for me, which was wonderful because I had a million things going on, which I'll tell you about later. Um, and I wanted to talk about the show, the Alice in Wonderland show first, so that's why I kept you out here for that. <laughs> I actually have it a little bit lower on my agenda, but since you're out here. So we decided to produce a show this year, and we're going to produce Alice in Wonderland, in which that which your kids can audition for. Uh, there will be a full-scale production of Alice in Wonderland Junior. Uh, and it won't be, you know, at the end of each week we do a little show for you, kind of a musical review. It'll be the full-fledged show where the audition, you know, we have more, it will be in a real theater and um, it's going to be fun. So auditions will be, we're thinking October, possibly late September, and we're still nailing down the date, but it's, our goal is like early February. So keep an eye or a year out for audition info, uh, we'd love to have your kids. We yeah. definitely would love to have everybody in this group in the show. I just told them, yeah, I just told them back there, I was like, you guys are seriously the most dedicated, best camp group I have ever seen for a camp week. Because they have put so much energy into this, and they have put their all into making this awesome. Yes. Yeah. Thanks, Miss Sid. I know I pulled you out of what you're doing, but uh, she's literally, I can't have camp without her anymore. So, I don't know what I'm going to do when she goes away and leaves me forever. <laughs> All right, you can go back and I'll, I'll finish my stuff. Do the kids need, need you or are they good? All right, so let me just tell you a little bit about what we do. I'm sure you are, already know this and have heard all about it. But during our camp day, our main focus, or our camp week, our main focus is confidence. I know that hasn't been an issue with most of the kids in this particular group. But however they start out on Monday, I don't need them to be Broadway bound by Friday. What I like to see is progress. Okay, so Monday we have them memorizing monologues, we have them doing acting games, we see what they can do, and then we see who's a little nervous and we try to work that for Friday. And then Friday, usually they kind of come into their own and they're like, yeah, I'm ready to perform. So we really work on that. And it doesn't always happen uh, every single week, but most of the time we have seen it, uh, seen the kids grow every day and we like to see progress. And that's our main goal in everything we do throughout the year. Uh, what we also do during the camp day is we do improvisation, which is acting without a script. We do scene studies with partners, which means they have to work, you know, they do teamwork. They have to learn to work with your partner. So even if they're a little nervous, they still have to kind of buck up and do it because you can't leave your scene partner hanging. And that's kind of the fun thing with that because it encourages them to encourage their other, their scene partners to kind of do better, which is nice. Um, we also do vocal technique. The vocal techniques are you know, <laughs> We introduced a new one this week, which was Unique New York, Unique New York. They really liked that. It's hard. Try saying that one fast, fast. And then you got to sing it on top of it. So we do a lot of stuff like that. And uh, we also do monologues, which you'll see today. Uh, the reason A monologue is a solo speech. And the reason we do monologues, especially in the shows, is because at some point they're going to be in front of a crowd, whether they're going to go on Broadway or they're going to be a doctor or a lawyer. At some point, or even just in school, they're going to have a public speaking class or have to do a presentation in front of the class. So we like them to have that experience 
holding a microphone, getting in front of a crowd, and try to, we try to get them young in that. So uh, you'll get to see some of those monologues. And we got to focus on acting this week because they were so dedicated, and it was just really fun. I can't say that enough. Uh, the reason Miss Sydney has had to do some extra work this week is because I've been signing the lease on our new place in Abacoa Town Center, which we finally signed yesterday. Oh, you're just watching. Okay. <laughs> so I'm really excited. Uh, we get the keys on Monday, and so I'll be doing some construction and whatnot. So I'm really excited. It's our new location. I think I said it was 115 Town Center Drive. Anyway, it's across from Joss Beer Garden. So feel free to come <laughs> drop your kids off and go get a beer at my house place. <laughs> Real nice, uh, you know, location. And there's a nail salon next door. So if you don't want to go get a beer, go get your nails done, get a penny. So uh, again, thank you, Miss Cindy, because if I had to be here with the kids, well, I was here with the kids, but if I had to be in front all the time doing my usual directing stuff and choreographing and all of that, I would have never been able to get the other stuff done. So she's just been a lifesaver. And she's going to pick up a lot of that work doing choreography for the Alice show um, when we start doing all that. Okay, so that said, I'm almost done. Other camps this season. Now, I think I've individually told each and every one of you that you're required to send your kids back to, to, <laughs> to the other camps because we love this group so much. So the couple other camps are Hairspray Teen Beach, uh, one and, Hairspray and Teen Beach 1 and 2, so it'll be a 60s week. That's going to be July 10th through the 14th. Next week is 4th of July week, so we're off. Uh, and then we'll come back for Hairspray and Teeth Beach 1 and 2. And the other reason that Miss Sydney has been taking a lot of um, more directing, uh, directing places is because I leave for Ireland that week and I'll be gone for 18 days. Not 18 camp days, but 18 days for fully. So we will have other people here, another staff here, but Sydney's going to be doing the directing. So the next show that you guys are here for, you'll see Miss Sydney up there doing this. And if she doesn't want to, we can make a video. What? Two shows. <coughs> two shows from now. Well, two weeks from now. So that would be hair, the hairspray week. I'll be here for half of the week. Oh. And then I'll, yeah, because I'll leave on the 13th. So I'll be here for half of that week. Uh, but I'll see her, on, see her on Friday. And then I'll be in Ireland. Uh, my friends are getting married. So the, then we're off the next week. And then we come back and we'll do Descendants from July 31st to the 4th, August 4th. And then we end our season with Harry Potter, August 7th through the 11th. So please sign up. Harry Potter only has like three slots left, and I think Descendants has like four or five. So if you have a chance, get them signed up now if you know. Uh, any costumes and props you're getting rid of, I know as your kids grow, they don't fit into them, and parents are like, what do we do? You can always donate to Abby's Performing Arts Coaching. You'll see all the Alice costumes have been donated from other parents like yourself, who as their kids grew out of stuff, have given us some costumes, which is great because we will actually use it, so it'll get good use out of it. And that said, the last two things we're currently registering for the fall and spring classes. Uh, we do private voice lessons, piano lessons, and acting lessons, or you can combine the lessons. We also have a new etiquette program, Modern Etiquette for Modern Kids. And uh, I've been trained by Emily Post uh, at the Institute in Vermont, and I just love it. They have great ideas, and I'm excited to bring it to the north end of the county. Most of us need it. <laughs> I actually had a request from some, and that's going to be for kids through adults, and I had some of the moms when I first came back, they said, can you do a, a session for our husbands? And I said, sure, we'll go to Doss Beer Garden, we'll have a beer night for the men, and we'll do etiquette. <laughs> All right, last thing, uh, we are videotaping uh, today's uh, show for you, and it's going to be on the YouTube channel, the Abby's Performing Arts Coaching YouTube channel. Uh, it's hard to get to. I don't know if we fixed that yet. Have we fixed that, Sid? No. Because the person who set it up did Abby's Performance Arts, so it's kind of weird. No, like, All you have to do is go to the website and click on our link from the website, and you'll see it. The past three weeks, I believe, have been uploaded, so if you've been a part of those weeks, you can go ahead and check it out. Uh, and like us on Facebook, there's a bunch of pictures from this week. Okay, I'm done talking. <laughs> what we have for you is a slideshow. We're going to start the show with uh, just some fun time, showing you some fun times with your kids this week. So if you would direct your attention over here. And after that, enjoy the show. And thank you.
discover. But my sister Matilda always says, look before you leap. And I looked, and it looks pretty deep and dark. And maybe it goes all the way down to the center of the earth, and we burnt the crisp like a bad marshmallow that we've heard so much about. <laughs> or not. OK, look, now it's time to She jumped into the dark rabbit hole. She fell for what seemed like three and a half weeks, but more like four and a quarter. She fell and fell and fell, but she wasn't alone.
fish up. How do you do? I'm Tweedledum. And I'm Tweedledee. Meeting and running ain't very polite. Don't you have a coup? There's a right way and a wrong way to do things. Say, how do you do? And shake hands, shake hands, shake hands. How do you do? And shake hands. State your name and business. I think we should have helped in the class C. Now what do we do? <laughs> I believe this properly start with an introduction. How do you do, Tweedledum? I'm Tweedledee. I beg to differ, but I believe I'm Tweedledee. But if you were Tweedledee, I'd be shaking my own hand. But you're shaking my hand.
that they work so well together. That zippity doo dah, they learned that like Monday. And they've just been so excited to do it every single day. Like that's how fast these kids picked up. We just had a blast. Um, so that said, hopefully we'll see you for the Alice auditions. And uh, hopefully we'll see you for our other programs or other camps. And then we'll be having open houses at our new location in Abacoa Town Center. So we would love for you to come by and take a look. And uh, we'll give you more information, more info to follow. Uh, as we leave, the kids are going to change out of their costumes really quickly. And they have all of their stuff out there. So we'll ask you to filter out this way. And we'll, um, we'll exit from the front door as the counselors come. And we have to start cleaning up and you know, making it look like a church for, <laughs> for the congregation on Sunday. Uh, a few other things. Let me just thank the counselors. I know there's some, some of them are busy doing that. Well, the lights will be in your way, but Miss Gigi's on lights today. Miss Sammy is on tech. Mr. Keeper's up there on sound. He did a great job. And then we also have in the back doing costumes, Mr. Parker. You can pop your head up. see Parker's face. And Miss Sophia. Alright, go ahead. And we're going to send the parents out to you guys to make sure they have all their stuff so they're ready. Uh, did I forget any counselors? Lindsay. Oh, and Miss Lindsay. You're Miss Lindsay somewhere? I don't know where Miss oh, Lindsay is. Anyway, Miss Lindsay, hey guys, close the door, please. Miss Lindsay um, and Miss Sydney did the costumes that we weren't donated and we didn't have. They actually have been like sewing and making the costumes, which they had a blast on, so I thank them for that. We just had a blast. We love Alice Camp. So uh, that said, thank you again and enjoy your 4th of July. And we will see you hopefully back for Hairspray, Team Beach 1 and 2, uh, the 60s week. Thanks.